Hello dear students, I am Dr. Jamal Abidi, ex university librarian of Jamia Millia Islamia. Today I am going to discuss about relative index of Davy decimal classification 19th edition. The relative index of DDC has been given in its third volume. It has got more than 80,000 entries which are arranged alphabetically each entry of the index is a term or phrase which is followed by some information in the form of either a number or a reference to another term or phrase. The relative index includes an entry of every significant term given in the schedules and the seven auxiliary tables of Davy decimal classification. The index has got class numbers for most of the subjects whose numbers have been included in the schedules. In addition, it has also class numbers for some complex subjects whose number has been synthesized. Thus, this relative index has other than this numbers cross reference entries for synonyms and the related concepts. Such entries are also known as C also and C respectively. These are given for synonyms and related topics. Before discussing about the relative index in detail, let us understand what is understood by the term index. Index is normally used for an alphabetical list of persons, places, subjects, etc., which are mentioned in the text of a printed work such as a book. It is usually provided at the end of the book. Thus, when we include an in index in a collection for the book or for any collection of information, we make alphabetical list of topics discussed in it. The index helps the user find out any relevant information in the text. The index of DDC is an alphabetical list of all the significant terms mentioned in the schedules that is the second volume of DDC and the tables, seven auxiliary tables which are mentioned in the volume one of DDC along with their locations also. The index of DDC is called relative index. Why is it known as relative index? It is called relative index because of its inverse relationship to the schedules, meaning that that sh schedules are arranged in the sequence of disciplines and the index is arranged by subjects. So, they are just opposite of each other. In the schedules, different aspects of a subject have been scattered according to discipline, while in the index, they have been brought together with their locations mentioned in the schedules. 
by their class numbers. Now, to highlight this point and to make it more clear, we will take an example. If we suppose we classifier has to classify any book on copper and he looks under this term copper in the index. Then he will find various aspects of copper in it such as copper arts, copper chemistry, copper compounds, copper construction, copper mining, etc. These different aspects of copper have been listed in the subheadings of copper in the index. Each subheading has got its different class number in the schedules. Uh, now, I take an example from uh, relative index, actual partial entry of copper. The copper heading is subdivided by different aspects of copper, such as copper age. The, the subject copper has been divided by historical aspect archaeology, copper age archaeology. These are subheadings of copper and its number in schedule is 930.15. Similarly, another subheading of copper is copper arts, which has, which has further been subdivided into decorative copper art the number class number of this particular subject is 739.511 in the schedule. So, the other aspects of copper arts, we have been directed that the classifier should go and see under the heading metals arts. Now, the third subheading for example, for copper is copper chemistry. Copper chemistry means the chemistry of copper, a different, different aspect now. It has further been subdivided uh, into inorganic copper chemistry, organic chemi co uh, copper chemistry and these have different numbers, class numbers in the schedule. For inorganic copper, copper chemistry, it is 546.652. For organic copper chemistry, the number is 547.05652. Then there is a line SA SPEC groupings, means this is actually short form of which means see also specific groupings for, for co different groupings of like aliphatic compounds is an example of a group of copper chemistry. For copper chemistry uh, for different compounds, we have been guided to see the copper chemistry heading. So, under for copper compounds chemistry, we have been given another heading to see under copper chemistry. This subject copper construction has been dealt uh, again subdivided into architecture 721 Point zero four four seven three means architecture of in copper copper construction. So see also specific kinds of buildings. It has been given S A is the full form for C also for different kinds of buildings. For example, hospital building, university building. We should see also these are related uh, subjects. So we the index guides us to see specific kinds of buildings also. Then for buildings, engineering, the number class number is 620.182. For engineering buildings, 691.83 and 620.182. Thus, we see that the subject uh, has been dealt in different points of view, different uh, aspects of the subject copper have been given different uh, class numbers in the schedules and the, uh, the 
uh, advantage of this relative index is that it brings all the, uh, the, uh, the, the aspects of subject copper at one place, so that the classifier can see and decide which subject aspect of the subject he wants to choose for his classification of the document. So, it brings all the aspects of the subject copper at one place. Now, we will discuss about the organization of relative index. As we have just noticed that the every page of relative index has been divided vertically into two columns. So, here each page is divided into two columns and all the terms and phrases have been arranged in alphabetical order by uh, uh, fashion as the words are arranged in a dictionary. And dictionary, most of you know how the words are arranged in a dictionary. Similar fashion, these terms are arranged in the relative index. These terms or phrases of uh, relative index are usually followed either by a class number or by a another term. Most of the class numbers have been given against the terms in the index. The class numbers are from the schedules. So, the classifier is referred to C for this subject under the schedule under that particular class number appropriate class number in the schedule. For example, uh, there is a heading ophthalmology uh, and ophthalmology has been subdivided by medical science. MED is for full form uh, uh, medical and SCI is science. So, these are the actually abbreviated uh, forms of uh, the words. Medical science under for ophthalmology number is 617.7 it has further been subdivided. The ophthalmology medical science particularly for old age people is, is covered under geriatrics and its number is different 618.9777. While the ophthalmology for pediatrics means for children it is under 618.920977. So, different class numbers for different aspects of ophthalmology are there. Then there is a note S A S P E C animals means C also specific animals. These are also related subject. So, we should see under uh, animals also names of the different animals and we can see ophthalmology there as well. Then there are cross reference entries. The another type of entries other than those which give you the class number, there are some cross reference entries in the re relative index. The index has given some entries which uh, give reference to another terms and they are called C reference entries. In such entries, reference is given from one term to or phrase to another term or phrase. Why it is so? These entries are usually made for synonyms or maybe for initials, uh, means abbreviations of the subjects. Synonyms, what are synonyms? They are the more than one name for the same uh, concept or subject. For example, uh, there is a heading opiates in the relative index and C opium, this entry is like this okay. for the subject or for the concept opiates, a standard term opium has been used in the relative index and for the synonym opiates, the classifier has been directed to C under the heading opium in the relative index. So, out of these two terms, which are synonymous terms, the term opium, opium has been preferred and it has been given as the chosen as the heading and other synonymous terms from their 
the classifier is directed to this term opium. So, these C reference entries uh, are cross reference entries for synonymous terms. So, so that a standard term is chosen uh, on the basis of the most popular term and then other synonymous terms have been uh, given a C cross reference to the chosen entry. If the class classifier uh, searches under opiates, he will find an instruction to C under opium, which is the chosen heading. So, now the third type of in entry is very important cross reference entry and it is called C also reference entry. So, what are the C reference entries? These reference entries are for related terms, means they are not exactly the same terms, but they are related to the heading to the term which is given in the heading. For example, operative surgery, it has given, given a class number 617.91 in the schedule. So, classifier can go and see this number. Then there is a line under this heading miscellaneous MISC may is full form is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous aspects C diseases means miscellaneous aspect of this subject we should go and see under the diseases. Then SA specific diseases means we should see for uh, also see spe under specific diseases for this particular uh, uh, subject operative surgery. So, this this is the meaning of SA means the classifier is directed towards a related subject. So, operative surgery of a particular disease we should go and see under name of that particular disease. For example, lungs diseases, lungs diseases surgery there is a heading like that. Similarly, you, you can find many more heart diseases surgery and brain diseases surgery. So, a specific disease and its surgery is given at separate places, six diff, separate places for different diseases. So, this common concept is bifurcated uh, or scattered uh, in the schedule at various uh, places with different diseases. Now, cross reference entries, uh, the, these are called C and C also entries are called cross reference entries. These are of two types, I, we have just seen it, some of these entries are for synonyms and the other also for abbreviated terms. For example, while, uh, the, while we give synonymous terms, we give C entry and for for the abbreviated terms also we see give C entry and C also entry as we just saw, they are also given for related concepts. Cross reference entries refer the classifier from the unused terms to the used terms, means some terms are chosen, others are unused terms for means synonymous terms. Or some possibly related terms like we refer by the, these are some examples. For example, corals, C anthozoa, what does it mean? That anthozoa is the heading chosen for corals and if we one wants to cl classify the subject corals, one has to see under the term anthozoa in the relative index. So, this is a synonymous term. Similarly, VAT, VAT, this is a initials of value added tax. So, if VAT uh, is not heading, then we, we see a C reference from VAT to value added tax means for VAT go and see the heading under value added tax. Similarly, uh, there are milk. For example, milk is heading. Under milk, there is a head uh, entry gives C also beverages. 
means other types of drinks which are which is a general term which is but it is milk is also a beverage so it has been uh, guided to the classifier that related relevant or uh, related term of milk is beverages also. So, you can if it is related to your subject you can uh, go and see that also and you can find out in the index. So, so C also entry guides us to related terms these are the examples some of the examples for uh, understanding the cross reference entries C and C also entries. Now, we come to abbreviations used in the index. There you have seen some example by examples that so many abbreviated terms are used in the index at so many places in almost each and every entry of the index. A number of abbreviations have been used all over the index. Use of the abbreviations has been made to save the space. So, the whole word has, is has been given in the abbreviated form. So many abbreviations are given with full forms of the abbreviations have been listed in the uh, beginning of the uh, index in an alphabetical manner. The, the classifier should see the abbreviated forms of the subjects which are given terms given in the uh, index to understand the uh, meaning of the uh, instructions given in the relative index. For example, some of the abbreviations given in the list are admin A D M I N for administration these are only sample few examples by B I O G is for biographical or biography. R E N is the abbreviation of racial ethnic racial groups table 5, S A is for C also, S S is for standard subdivisions given in the table 1, abbreviations used for tables in the index any number in the index which is preceded by S S for example, the standard subdivisions will be found in table 1. So, particularly the stand, these tables 7 tables uh, if any number is given for the uh, for the uh, table uh, we have to take from the table. So, this is has been mentioned before the number for example, S S dash 076 is for examinations of a specific subjects. So, this term a uh, number 076 will be found in the table 1 standard subdivisions. It has been mentioned uh, before every number which table this number belongs to. For example, area if a if, if any number is preceded in the relative index by the word area it means that this number will be found in area table that is table 2. And similarly, L I T S U B is literature, literature subdivisions table 3 numbers are uh, given preceded by this in L, L, L A N G S U B is for table 4 numbers R E N is for racial ethnic national groups in table 5. So, any number preceded by L A N G in the relative index is to be found in table 6. Any number preceded by the uh, P E R S that is persons is to be found in table 7. So, all the table numbers which are given in the relative, relative index are preceded by these uh, abbreviated terms for 7 auxiliary tables. Now, we take an example uh, Kurg India a number has been given and before that area is written and dash dash means this number is not to be used alone any number from uh, any table number cannot be used alone as a class number it has to be added to the basic subject number of the schedule. So, it is to be taken from table 2 this area table. Now, how to use the relative index we have to uh, see that relative index plays very important role in guiding the classifier. 
to find out appropriate class number of a subject from the schedules and the tables. According to DDC, there are two basic approaches to classify a document that is direct approach is through directly through the schedules while the indirect approach is through the relative index. The beginners who are class started classifying, they find the indirect approach that is classification through the relative index more comfortable and more speedier. But DDC recommends that the classifier should adopt direct approach. In any case, the classifier should never classify solely with the help of index. The index provides leads to the probable class numbers in the schedules and the schedule finally decides on the basis of their instruction given uh, in the schedules how to give the exact class number. If the classifier prefers to start the classifying a document through the relative index, he should first locate the entry for a key terms of the title. We should choose the key terms of a in the title and then and in the index examine its subheadings for various aspects of this subject and select the most appropriate the, the title or heading of the uh, from the relative index. When we find the appropriate term in the index, the classifier should open the schedules at the proper place the, as indicated in the, by the uh, class number in uh, opposite that written in the index. So, class number gives the exact location uh, of the term in the uh, schedule. A specific or cla complete class number then is assigned with the help of schedule. Uh, now, relative index is used to supplement the classif classifier, help the classifier to make the class number. If the subject of a classifier wants to search is not available in the index, he should look for it under a synonymous term or a related term or a broad term. For example, if the title of the Classific classification is Indian Library Association. We will not find exactly this because this is a specific association. So, we should see under a general name classifier should find uh, under library associations. We will find the heading library association, but Indian Library Association as such will not be available in the in relative index. So, we should in, you search in general uh, heading. If we cannot index cannot list all the proper nouns like that names of persons names of associations names names of cities etc cannot list so we have to give some general uh, heading for from the index for example there are some uh, headings which have uh, adjective and noun these are some phrase made up of adjective and uh, generally headings are given in direct form in the index uh, if a classifier does not find a phrase as such in the adjective, he should look it un, uh, under noun. For example, uh, if Anglican bishops, there is a heading, uh, but we do not find any heading under Anglican, then the classifier should directly go into the general bishop and bishops will be found there. So, it is an, another example that if there is specific uh, heading, then we can choose a, we, we in, we in exactly we do not find it in the index, then we can choose a general uh, heading. These uh, terms of the index are arranged by word by word, means one word is taken at a time to arrange the uh, these, these terms in the relative index. So, the subheadings of the uh, terms list, uh, the headings, the subheadings of the headings are also arranged alphabetical fashion uh, and they are also hierarchical to each other means headings and their subheadings th and their sub subheadings, they are related to each other. So, we can see that today we have discussed the need and scope and structure use how to use relative index of DDC 
in in classifying the documents. It it is an alphabetical list of all the important terms given in the schedules and seven auxiliary tables. It refers to synonyms and related terms to through the cross reference entries like C and C also entries. Many elements of the entries are given in abbreviated form to save the space and the list of abbreviated abbreviations has been given in the beginning of relative index to uh, help the classifier. Uh, classifier cannot depend solely on the index for classification. He should use uh, direct approach to classify it uh, through the schedule. Uh, but if he is not successful to uh, find the subject number uh, in directly through in the schedule, then he should take help of the uh, relative index. So, that is uh, uh, a relative index is an important uh, part of DDC and we should uh, take help of the relative index whenever uh, we are not able to uh, find out the class number of a subject directly in the schedules because uh, relative index brings all the aspects of a subject at one place unlike the schedule which arranges the all the subjects according to disciplines. That is all for today. Thank you.